The word rubai refers to an original Persian form of poetry with four lines and has a rhyme scheme of A-A-B-A. This means that the first, second and fourth lines end in a rhyme. The plural of rubai is rubaiyat. The most popular rubaiyat in the world is the rubaiyat by the Persian poet, Omar Khayyam, and its most popular translation is that of Edward Fitzgerald in 1859. The rubaiyat is composed of many quatrains. A quatrain is a stanza composed of four lines. Omar Khayyam was born on May 18, 1048 and died in December 4, 1131. He was an astronomer and mathematician known for his scientific achievements. He was also a poet, and his rubaiyat is probably the most popular Asian poem in the West. Like other poems, the rubaiyat contains many metaphors. In addition, it also has many allusions. Let's discuss the concept of a metaphor and an illusion. Metaphor is a comparison between two items. It is composed of three parts, the topic, image, and point of similarity. The topic is the item being talked about. The image is the item that possesses a related characteristic that is vibrant, vivid or stands out. That related characteristic between the topic and image is called the point of similarity. For example, Jesus Christ is a lamb. The topic is Jesus Christ and the image is the lamb. The lamb is an animal that is meek, gentle and harmless. Thus, Jesus Christ is portrayed as being meek, gentle and harmless. An illusion is a metaphor found in stories, history or other literature. A reader or listener cannot understand an illusion unless that person is familiar with what the illusion refers to. Thus, unless a reader is familiar with the Greek mythology hero Achilles, he will not understand the term, Achilles' heel. Similarly, when a listener hears someone say, Math is my Waterloo, the listener will not understand that the speaker considers math as the speaker's weakness unless the listener knows that Waterloo is the place where the great conqueror Napoleon Bonaparte was defeated. With these in mind, let us recite and interpret a few quatrains in the Rubaiyat by Omar Khayyam. To read for us, we have Professor Andrew Ray Pena, from the Philippine Normal University as our guest. Awake, for morning in the bowl of night has flung the stone that puts the stars to flight. And lo, the hunter of the east has caught the sultan's turret in a noose of light. The first quatrain talks about how the sun ushers in the morning. Two metaphors are used here to refer to the sun. The first is the stone that puts the stars to flight and, the hunter of the east. Obviously, the sun makes the stars disappear from view. Also, the sun is like a hunter in that it catches everything in its light. The phrase caught the sultan's turret in a noose of light refers to the fact that the turret of the sultan's palace or place of worship is the tallest object in their community and is therefore the first thing that the sun illuminates as it rises from the east. Dreaming, when dawn's left hand was in the sky, I heard a voice within the tavern cry, Awake, my little ones, and fill the cup before life's liquor in its cup be dry. The second quatrain echoes the idea of Zeets of the day, or you only live once. The phrase, dawn's left hand, refers to the first dim light that fills the night sky an hour before the actual rising of the sun. The poet seems to say we all need to enjoy the pleasures of life while we are still young, because we will soon lose the ability to enjoy the physical pleasures of life. Now the new year reviving old desires. The thoughtful soul to solitude retires, where the white hand of Moses on the bow puts out, and Jesus from the ground suspires. The fourth quatrain has illusions. The white hand of Moses likely refers to the miracle that Moses demonstrated before the children of Israel in which he placed his hand inside his clothing by his breast, and taking it out it became white as snow because of the disease leprosy. Putting in back inside and putting it out it reverted to its healthy state. Jesus from the ground suspires may refer to Jesus' resurrection or to his ability, through his breath, to produce life. The idea is that the new year makes a person think and meditate. And by meditating alone, one comes up with thoughts so wonderful they are like miracles coming from inside.
Come, fill the cup, and in the fire of spring, the winter garment of repentance fling. The bird of time has but a little way to fly, and lo, the bird is on the wing. In Quatrain 7, the listener is encouraged to engage in pleasure. A person should fill his life with things that provide enjoyment. Fire can blaze during the spring but not so much during winter. In the same way, only during one's youth can a person enjoy the sensual joys of life to their fullest. Spring could thus mean the period of youth in one's life where living life with all its sensual joys is possible. Youth is not the time for trying to be good and holy. The metaphor, the bird of time but a little way to fly likely means a person's youth is very short. The phrase the bird is on the wing is a metaphor saying that period is getting even shorter. That is why a person must enjoy life's sensualities while being young, because when youth is gone, a person can not longer enjoy the things young people can enjoy. As you have probably noticed, the Rubaiyat is a work focused on enjoying life, particularly its sensual pleasures. I hope this short discussion encourages you to read the Rubaiyat in its entirety. Thank you for viewing.